Emergency rooms in Austin and around the country are seeing more dog bites than ever. The night beat Tanner Horansky asks the experts what is and isn't behind that trend for tonight's special assignment. <laughs> Two year old Cooper Brothers has a difficult time sitting still. At play or with his parents, he is on the go. Last year, Cooper was at home, crawling on the floor, when his world came to a sudden stop. Reggie, the family dog of eight years, bit him on the face. I was in the same room, and it was literally a split second when I heard a cry. The sometimes skittish Keysound mix had never bitten before. Emergency crews rushed Cooper to Dell Children's Medical Center, where he underwent a surgery to save his nose. And it underscored a startling statistic here in dog bites. Last year, there was a 50% increase in the ER from the year before. In all, doctors at Dell treated 292 children for dog bites. Dr. Adam Weinfeld, a plastic surgeon specializing in the face, said the bites are becoming more common as Austin grows. The structures that seem to be bitten most often uh, are the nose and the lips. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, we see a fair number of bites on the cheek. And the aggressive behavior isn't just in Austin. Emergency rooms elsewhere are seeing the same. For years, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have followed non-fatal dog bites around the country. In 2006, it reported that ER physicians treated about 306,000 people for dog bites. In 2010, they treated 342,000. Jay Wilton is a dog behaviorist at Triple Crown Academy in Hutto, a center that teaches trainers. He said the problem isn't with the dogs, but with the growing number of owners oh who don't take the time to train them. And it's no fault, uh, you know, of your dogs or of the owner. It's it, you need both to come together and and have that relationship and get the understanding between both of you. There may be other reasons too. Dog ownership is at its highest level yet. More than 78 million U.S. families now own dogs. And still, a far more controversial theory behind bites may be breed. The belief that certain dogs pose greater threats. Around the country, some communities have even adopted laws banning certain breeds. No such laws exist in Texas. At the same time, Dr. Weinfeld notes all dogs should be approached with caution. That nearly every dog can be unpredictable. But I've seen bad injuries from the whole spectrum of dogs, from Yorkshire Terriers up to, you know, the classic pit bull injury. As for the brothers' family, they just want people to hear their story and to not leave children under 10 alone with any dog. They are wishing that Cooper had never been alone with theirs. And I think that's the biggest thing is that nobody ever expects it'll happen, but in fact, the most common dog bites occur within your family dog or a neighbor's dog. And he was, he was a good dog other than that. Following the attack, the brothers turned Reggie over to the Humane Society. And though they still love dogs, they will never approach them the same way again. Andrew Horansky, KVU News, Nightbeat. The key there, approaching a dog, there's some things you could do. Trainers say when you meet a dog, always ask the owner first for permission to approach it. Yeah, you should also always walk up in a circular motion, not head on. Avoid too much eye contact. And if you smile, don't show your teeth. Mm -hmm.